so much to do yet so little time. As you can see, what do all of these activities cause? You guessed it, stress. Now stress can be good sometimes, such as in motivating you and keeping your brain sharp. But for some people, stress isn't just stress, but rather a state where their stress dial is yanked up to the maximum all the time. This is called anxiety. See, when stress becomes more long term and overwhelming to the point where the person has persistent worry about everyday things, it gets characterized as an anxiety disorder. Hold up, so if I'm really stressed, I have an anxiety disorder? No! Even though stress and anxiety are somewhat connected, they are still very different. While stress is the body's reaction to threat, anxiety is the body's reaction to stress. So your brain constantly feels like something bad is about to happen. Essentially, each emotion has its own brain regions in the limbic system, consisting of four main parts. The hippocampus, amygdala, hypothalamus and thalamus. The hippocampus regulates the balance of a hormone called cortisol. See cortisol is our main stress hormone. So when we feel stressed, cortisol is released. But when we feel happy, a neurotransmitter called serotonin is released. High levels of cortisol leads to an increase in the reuptake of serotonin into the neuron. So to decrease our levels of cortisol and hence decrease the effects of stress, we need to make sure that serotonin remains in the synapse for as long as possible. Usually, serotonin generates an impulse that makes you feel happy. But when it is sucked back into the neuron, it cannot bind to the receptors on the other side. So an impulse is not generated. Scientists believe that daily life problems like with family, work or other relationships can trigger your brain's amygdala. Now, here's the interesting part. The amygdala is considered the fear center of the brain. So when it becomes hyperactive, it causes your hippocampus to continuously release that stress hormone cortisol we talked about earlier, making you go into overdrive. Hey, relax. There are some great treatment methods out there. Medications like SSRI or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors work by preventing the neuron from taking back the serotonin so that serotonin can continuously remain in the synapse and stimulate feelings of well-being. I am getting a grip on anxiety is not easy. But here's something I would like you to remember. The first step to dealing with anxiety is understanding it. So you are already doing a great job by watching this video.